don't know who the fuck to trust. This is my friend or my fault. I'm not some exit drug. What's up, guys? It's another beautiful day and another car. As you saw on the video title and on the video thumbnail, I traded in my car or the Tesla um, for something else. The Tesla is the car my wife drives for with the kids and all that. So it was something that I already had it for a year. It was um, had 14,000 miles. Great car, but it was getting a little annoying having to charge the car too often. Um, so we, we decided that it was just easier to pump gas and keep going than having to stop at a char supercharger, wait 20 minutes at that time to your commute um, so we decided that we were gonna go back to gas I think electric is an amazing thing and it's a great thing if you don't mind or you don't travel as much you don't go long distances and I think it will be a great thing in the future when they fix that little issue other than that is a great car I don't regret it but we got something different we got something new and um, I'm gonna show you guys right now. But before we continue, I want to talk to you guys about a sponsor of Rose Golden Black. Right now, they're having a great deal 30% off our landing page if you click the link down below right now. Everything on that landing page from rings, bracelets, bead bracelets, necklaces is gonna be 30% off. But if you guys like the minimal bar collection, the minimal bar necklace, or the minimal bar bracelet, you can get an extra 15% off if you use the coupon code down below. Now, I, guys, I know you guys like this collection, and I know a lot of you guys have bought these, but a lot of you guys haven't yet, so check them out right now. Click the link down below. This is the bar necklace. Amazing little minimal collection that looks great with anything that you wear, and it just completes your outfit. So check out Rose Golden Black, guys. I'll have the link down below. And like I said, the minimal bar bracelet as well has that extra 15% off so check them out guys I'll have the link down below now let's continue with the video so let's do the inside and then we're gonna move to the outside do the outside real quick show you a little bit of the outside there's not a lot about the ice outside to show you so um, I'm gonna leave that to the end because it's very very hot so this is the inside of the new Volvo this is the XC90 and this is the 2021 um, model so this one is the xc90 2021 and this one is the inscription that's the highest trim level that you can get in my opinion it is better to go for the highest trim level that you can get for any type of car just because you know when you're gonna sell it that's the highest valued one and and most people that's the one they want to buy when they want to buy you so you get a better return in that so i like i said i traded in my tesla i had an amazing you know i was able to negotiate an amazing price for this one and an amazing price to sell that one i was able to get into this amazing car i got an amazing deal so anyways this is the volvo xc90 so as you can see it's all digital right there just like the tesla so you can see everything going on on the dash all your information is going to be there and then on this side you're going to have a little screen kind of like the tesla just a lot smaller and you can control everything from here now the only thing i don't like about this is that you can't really change it a lot um you can change some stuff but you can't do it from here you have to do it from let me sorry um you have to do it from the screen so you go into settings and then you go into my car and then you go to displays you know so it's a lot of hassle to try to do that but you know once you change it to whatever you like you can keep it like that um, from here like I said you you have Apple CarPlay and all that you can control all your um, AC stuff from here as well that's another downside about it that you have to do it through the screen you really don't have that um, type of control over here other than defrosting your windows and hazards and then the volume I like that they at least kept that there the volume and move uh, or fast forward or repeat the songs and from here as well you can do that and you have cruise control and how far and how close you want your car to be it has an amazing lane assist or lane keep um, it basically keeps you in your lane which is pretty cool from here you have you know your commands and be able to volume and select and pause your music and all that um, so we have wireless charging right here we have cup holders and then this is where you put the key if your key runs out of battery or whatever it has different drive modes so you can change different drive modes and decide what is it that you want to do and you can see it right there different you have eco comfort dynamic and off-road and I'll do different things for whatever you want it to do as soon as you select it it will change your dashboard right there that's eco that's comfort that's dynamic and that's off-roading anyways you got different dive modes here you have uh park 
uh, emergency brake right here and then not uh, park sorry emergency brake and then auto stop and start and then here this is how you turn on the car it's not push or start it still gives you that feeling of turning a key so it's pretty cool it's pretty different um, it's just a little gimmicky but it's pretty cool um, regular um, shifter and then in here you have a little bit of space in here and then you have a USB uh, two USB ports in there so you can connect your phone and then here this is to open your glove compartment a little glove compartment it has Harman Kardon speakers here so that they sound pretty pretty amazing I'm usually not a big fan of you know big brands like Bose was in my brother's uh, high country and um, and stuff like that I'm not a big fan of that because usually even though they're high-end brands they use cheap things but these actually sound pretty good and they have Harman Kardon here here there everywhere um, has memory on both sides so you can have you know your own little settings whenever you come in and out um, so that's pretty much here in the front um, it has panoramic sunroof so you can see and you can open it and you'll have a panoramic sunroof which is pretty cool at night, especially if you want to see the stars or, you know, be a little bit more romantic. Um, but, and it also has, you can open it up completely if you want to have some air or if it's, it's a nice day outside. Let's go to the back. In the back, you have these privacy screens that you can put up and down on both sides you have rear AC and rear AC controls as well right there so you have you have different configurations you can either get a bench seat and you have for seven people or you can get two captain chairs in the back basically for six people which in my opinion this is the best one I did get a bench seat for the Tesla but it was just annoying having to move these seats so they can go back there now they can just climb up and they can head to the back you can put two car seats in the back, two car seats here, or I mean, you can fit two people back there, two adults without any issues. Um, it'll be a little tight, but it's mostly for kids, but it does work. And then, you know, you have your controls, windows, locks on both sides as well. And then if you go back here, we have the trunk. The trunk is pretty big. I can, I can fit this stroller. I can probably put uh, a bag or two back here, which is not bad. Cool thing about it, as you guys can see, and I just, um, you can use your foot to open and close if you, your hands are full. So I'm just gonna show you right now real quick. It is pretty good. I've seen it in other um, cars that it's not that accurate, but I just move. It opens it up, and if you want to close it, you guys can see it is closed. So it's pretty good. It works pretty good. Um, let's check the outside real quick. Um, this is the outside of the Volvo. Um, it is pretty big compared to the Tesla. Um, it has more room. The only thing that it's missing is the front. It doesn't have the front anymore, but it is pretty good. Let's do a really quick walk around. Dual exhaust, I don't know if they're real, let's check. Yep, one exhaust. Two exhaust. Then, pretty nice. Has adaptive headlights, so whenever you turn your wheel, the headlight will turn with it, so it can illuminate whatever Part you want it to do Woo, let's go back inside and then it has you probably can't see it but it has heads-up display another great thing it has 360 a lot of cars have it of course so you put it in reverse and then you put 360 and you can see everything and then if uh, you want that camera you see in the front camera go back you want to see the side camera that's the way you see go back to 360 you can remove and put the lines yeah, park assist or not park assist. Whatever it is you want, you can have it. You can put it back in reverse. You can zoom in a little bit, zoom out. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of things that you can add to it or look at. 
that works pretty good now I am very, very happy with this car um, it, it's it's pretty good it's very smooth my wife loves it my kids love it all right so like I said this is the inscription this is the highest level you can get the momentum the R design and the inscription is the highest one this one has a 2.4 liter engine with that is supercharged and it, and it comes with about 316 horsepower and about 295 foot-pounds of torque it is not super fast it is not super powerful like the Tesla of course not but it is a great family car I love Volvo because Volvo has put a lot into their cars for example these seats have been designed by like this Swedish doctor so it can you know it, they're perfectly for your body and you know you get you can sit perfectly well and it, they're comfortable and they're secure Volvo has this mission of trying to you know everybody that drives a Volvo will never die in a Volvo and they have this goal set of a, a, like a specific gear where they want to reach that goal which to me is pretty cool um, it's a very safe car and you know, there's nothing I can't complain. I mean, little knickknacks, little things here and there that I complain, but I actually enjoy like it more than the Tesla. They do have a hybrid version if that's something that people like and you, you know, you get a bigger range. So yeah, that's basically the walkthrough of the car. Um, let's take it out for a quick drive. All right, so it's a very, very smooth car. As you can see, I mean, this is something that is a luxury car. It's not a race car. It's not. It's, it's a car that you want to drive if you want to feel in comfort. Um, I've driven Cadillacs. I've driven everything, um, Lincolns, and I think this is the smoothest car that I've driven, which is pretty impressive. Um, cool thing about the key is that it comes. There's two keys. There's actually three keys. One of them is waterproof. Um, the other one is a black key and then you have this like orange key um, cool thing about the keys is that you can program them to be different speeds or different speed limits and you can see here um, it says with this key it says care key speed limitation cannot be exceeded it has it at like around 110 miles per hour but you can program it to whatever speed it is that you want especially if you have a kid that um, you want to have them drive your car or allow them to have or allow them to drive your car you can give them that key that's the key that he can have and use and it will be limited for him to do that so yeah this is a very smooth car a very quiet car I mean they're they're mowing the lawn out there as you can see and I can't hear anything. All I can hear is the AC. It's quiet, great for the family. If you're looking for a family car, this is probably the car that you should get. Um, I did recommend Tesla and it's a great car, but if you're not into that whole electric scene, you need to check this one out. And these models, the the encryptions were the highest one starts for around sixty thousand dollars. It's not even close to how much Tesla uh, costs, being the highest trim model that they have. So very affordable car compared to what it has, um, and and it's definitely worth it. Very smooth, very quiet, and it does pick up a little bit, even though it doesn't have you know the crazy horsepower and foot pounds of torque. It does pick up. You can you know really feel it for what you need it for, and it and it's amazing all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys next time honestly i don't know who the fuck to trust this is my friend or my fault i must exit